you can, you actually can. Uh, that's one of the biggest questions that we get. Um, we always recommend close the windows and doors. A lot of people, um, especially with stay-at-home mums and new bubs and kids, they choose to be out for the day and that's not a silly idea either. So there's no regulation or recommendation that says you must be out of the house. We certainly must make you aware of the risks and dangers um, and then leave the decision to you and take some minor precautions. But um, as long as you have a professional handling the removal, the roof sealed with the PVA glue, the cavities vacuum correctly, the cavities vacuum with a glue, um, they don't break or, or use grinding or cutting equipment on the sheets. There's not a huge risk of, of asbestos fibers escaping into the air and coming into the home and affecting your family. So you can do it. It's also not recommended. We, we always give our owners the opportunity to, um, to be out for the day and most of them take that up. Um, so depending on the size of the roof, uh, most asbestos removal teams get through 150 square metres of asbestos in a day. So if your roof's a bit bigger than that, uh, we'll take off probably half or just over half the roof. We'll, tape, uh, we'll tarp it up. We provide tarps um, if you're dealing with my home improvements, if you're dealing with some other company, I'm not sure how they do it. Um, we provide tarps, we tie them down to the scaffold for the night. Uh, we never take an asbestos roof off if there's any rain or any, any you know, the, I suppose uh, the, there's a high risk of any rain um, because we don't want to get your, your, your home, inside your home wet. Um, so we always keep an eye on the weather and we'll tarp some, you know, whatever we've taken off the next day, we'll finish. We'll get that asbestos clearance certificate, which authorises our roofing teams to come on site, and then we can start laying the roof. So, anywhere from you know from start to finish, removing asbestos roof, do all the, uh, the you know the regulatory requirements, and then put your new roof on anywhere from two to five days. Oh, that's a that's a very wide and open uh, question. So, how much does it cost to remove an asbestos roof? Look, the industry um, average rates for an A-class asbestos removalist now is anywhere from $30 to $35 a square metre. That's just to, one, treat the roof, remove it safely, encapsulate it in black plastic and take it away to a registered dumping site, which is recorded where, where the asbestos came from, who delivered it, you know, what's in it. Um, and then you've got your roof fitting costs on top of that so look it is a bit of an outlay um, but you're you know by putting a new Calibon roof on your home and removing an associated risk with asbestos you're adding 20 30 40 thousand dollars to your home so it, it certainly costs less than 30 or 40 thousand but depending on the size of the roof it, it could be 15 to 30 thousand for an average size home for the whole job <laughs> It's just a highly regulated industry and things have changed now and there was a there was a little bit of an unprofessional backyard approach to asbestos removal 10 years ago um, for everybody's benefit i suppose workplace health and safety regulations and requirements um, in the act now have become very tight and very regulated and very enforced but that's great for a company like us because we do um, everything above um, that quality level so uh, it plays into our hands and we never take a risk so everybody seems to be happy. Well, we deal with asbestos roofs a lot. That's one of our, our main focuses is that, um, my home improvements in our roofing division, MHI Roofing. Um, I would say that uh, one to two out of ten of every roof that we replace is asbestos at the moment in South East Queensland. It's a very good question. Call an expert and have them look at it. Um, asbestos roofs look very different to an iron roof, although they have a corrugated roll on them. Um, they have a, a industry term of super six because one sheet has six corrugations on it, but the corrugations are about 75 mil high, thereabouts. I might be a little bit over on that. Whereas a, a corrugated iron roof is only 20 mil high on the corrugate. So the corrugations are a lot bigger. Um, it has a white or a steely sort of gray look. Moss and black mold can grow on it. You can notice that. Some are painted, that makes it a bit harder, but they have, if they're painted, they're very dull. Um, but it, it, it's an asbestos, it's a um, fiber cement look. So if you're familiar with what fiber cement sheeting looks like, if you can see a gray steely color to it, like a fiber cement sheet, Fair bet it's asbestos. <laughs>